Welcome to Cooking with Carolina Nephrology. My name is Karen Robertson and I'm one of the nurse practitioners here. Um, if you know me and you've been to any of the dialysis units, you know I cannot cook. <laughs> that I am definitely a buyer of things. So this is one of those simple, easy recipes that you can do. People are coming over, the holidays are coming over. So if you're having Thanksgiving meals, Christmas meals, anything like that, it's quick. It's easy to do, and I'm going to show you some ways to make it a little more kidney friendly, um, especially for those patients who are on dialysis. All you're going to need is four ingredients. You're going to need um, eight ounces of low-fat yogurt, um, and for people who are like me, that's going to be a cup. I actually had to ask to see how much eight ounces was, and it's actually a cup. I do like vanilla yogurt. Um, I love vanilla yogurt with granola. It's um, kind of granola and... I'm a vanilla person. I'm not, I don't like chocolate, don't like strawberry, nothing like that. Everything has to be vanilla. So if you'll put in eight ounces of the low fat vanilla yogurt, perfect. And we're gonna take um, four tablespoons of the low calorie preserves. For those of you that are on dialysis, we prefer apple or grape. Strawberry just has a little more potassium. So we do prefer that you have apple or grape. Um, unless you're at one of the CKD stages, one or two, and your potassium is fine. You can also substitute with things apricot, orange marmalade, anything like that would be great. Okay, I've got, I need a half of a teaspoon of ground allspice. You can find it in a lot of the groceries um, places where it's not ground, but this one, if you'll actually get it for this because it's ground, the not ground you'll have to grind up and it takes quite a bit of doing. That tells you that I have tried to do that, making Christmas cookies and stuff before. The allspice goes along with fall meals, so if you're making pumpkin bread or anything like that, you already have the allspice in your cabinet. Um, a lot of people use it when they're making breads, especially at Christmas time or Thanksgiving. Your last ingredient is gonna be a half a teaspoon of lemon juice, or in my case, if you happen to have a bunch of lemons sitting at home because I enjoy lemon with my water, if you'll just squeeze in about a half of a lemon, you're gonna get the half a teaspoon that you need. And we're gonna blend it all together. As you'll see, this is gonna turn a red color from the strawberry. Now you can also do different colors. So if you had apricot or orange marmalade for people who don't have a high potassium, it makes a really nice orange color that you could use for Halloween parties or Thanksgiving dinners. You can use any type of Christmas theme. So if it was Christmas time, we could put a couple of sprigs of mint on the sun and you would have your green and red. And you could also do it in a nice little bowl. Now what you've noticed is that we've got marshmallows, we've got granola, we've got um, graham crackers. These types of things are great for people, especially um, if you're trying to keep your nutrition up. Now for my patients who are on dialysis, we prefer that you not use the bananas or the granola. Marshmallows are fine, and animal crackers, graham crackers, animal crackers especially for the kids. Um, having a Halloween party, or if they're having a party at the school, um, grapes are fine. But again, for dialysis, if you could limit the granola and the bananas for me. Do I have a volunteer who wants to try this? Now, Miss Sue, do you want to try this? Because I'll tell you, I am not a cook. And, and the patients will tell you, they know me, I am not a cook. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. The granola is probably really good. <laughs> Very good. All right, we got at least one thumb up. Thank you for joining me today on Cooking with Carolina Nephrology. You can get this delicious recipe and many others at our website, carolinanephrology.com slash cooking with CNEF.